Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you guys what I've been doing for, I don't know, I guess like the past two to three weeks in Path of Exile. Usually by this time I've already stopped playing, but somehow I'm not fully burnt out yet. I'm definitely on the spectrum, but not burnt out yet. So first off, I want to kind of show you guys what I've been doing. And then I kind of want to propose to you guys an idea uh, to just kind of fill in maybe a fun two weeks of time, but we'll see. Um, so we have the original Calandra League Starter, which was the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. And then I went ahead and remade the Jug because I wanted to test it out. So we hit 100 on that. I think you guys saw that. But then I leveled an Explode Jug um, to 100, which was a lot of fun. I think Explode Jug is probably my new favorite because it has a really good level of survivability while still maintaining the Explode ability. However, what I want to talk about now are some items I've kind of found, but why I'm still a little bit bored. So, this is the Inquisitor, Righteous Fire character, who I wanted to uh, make. I have, like, really bad ping issue. Let me just, like, restart real fast. This was the, like, last character I plan on making this league, where I was basically going to just try to become as strong as I could in SSF. So, I put aside, like, a Mage Blood. We found an Aegis Aurora. I have two kind of nutty clusters here with a flow of life student of decay flow of life wrapped in flame a triple large cluster jewel probably the icing on top or the cherry on top which is the perfect colors for my skin with glancing blows uh this is best colors non-awakened gems uh then i have actually two level three enlightens some other 21 gems uh but and the mage blood but i just got a little bored i don't know i guess for me it's a lot more fun to farm the wealth than to actually use it and spend it sometimes spending it is fun but a lot of the time just just acquiring it is fun i think i also had 40 essences of horror here okay um right so why does my inventory look like this well today i want to talk about an interesting idea so i love farming in path of exile i love killing monsters it's the number one favorite thing to do for me the second favorite thing to do is playing Righteous Fire. So you put those together, you got the cherry with the icing on top. Now, I don't really get bored of playing Righteous Fire. I know as weird and as dumb and as crazy as that sounds, it's just my favorite, right? You cannot replace the favorite. So um, I decided I think I am going to try to do another, yet again, restart. However, this one is going to be a little different. So... Um, Right here, if I bring attention to this, this is the Private League settings for Path of Exile, right? You can pretty much do whatever you want here. We don't care about any of this. The one we want to bring attention to is the No Stash Challenge. So this literally just means players have no access to the stash or guild stash. Um, now, on top of this, I don't know if I want it to be SSF because me personally, I'm not really going to trade. Um, so I don't really think it matters for me if I play SSF or not. If other people wanted to join because I proposed this on my stream, I think it would be better to play regular Calandra and then you just don't have a stash because people's inventory is already going to be fucked. I think it's okay if people like maybe mule stuff. I, I don't really know. You'll understand what I'm talking about in just a minute. So this right here is somewhat similar to what your inventory will look like towards mid to late game, except it will be even worse. So I have went ahead and assumed that I do not have a stash and I cluttered my inventory with things that I would be holding while mapping. So let's talk about the basics. You've got your armor scraps. Eventually when all of your shit is 20% quality, you can actually drop this because you could farm it so easily from Arc Nemesis. Transmutation orbs are not really gonna be super important important they're mainly going to just be for filling in your wisdoms and portals technically you could just have a filter for wisdoms and portals but i'm not really sure on that scours are absolutely going to be mandatory in my inventory because of scour and alking maps uh they also stack up to 30 uh annuls stack all the way up to 20 and i'm not even going to find 20 annuls so i do see myself keeping the annuls your standard portal and wisdom scroll Exalted orbs are going to be rare and are going to be used for crafting on the fly. They may or may not be saved and or immediately just yoinked. Uh, instilling orbs are going to be needed so you can craft the uh, charges. Uh, what is it? The, um, use on full charges. So we're going to need 20 of these at least for my utility flasks. 
Uh, bobbles are going to be needed for the instilling orb recipe and also to quality our flasks. Regals are actually going to be rare currency unless we do their vendor recipe, which we are not doing. Uh, regals are basically going to be used for crafting. Um, they're also used for some crafting bench mods, but I don't really care about that. Regals are probably primarily going to be used for my plus one vendor recipe weapon. Uh, alchemy orbs, you know, the standard. One thing interesting about alchemy orbs is bindings can effectively do exactly what alks can do, but they're better and they stack in 20 instead of 10. So alks will mainly be used for Kirak stuff, but then again, I guess I won't really have a shit ton of bindings at the beginning. Blessed orbs will just be used for getting perfect gear implicits, and then I don't even know if we... I think you always have to pick up less orbs. Uh, Vol orbs are always going to have a purpose, especially for map completion, so they're going to be here. I need a minimum of two divines to do my vendor recipe for multi-mods, so that has to be here. Uh, chromes, you always want to have a stack of chromes in case you're getting new gear. Chances are technically going to be converted into scourings via vendor recipe, however, you do need chance orbs to buy Kirak maps. Veiled Chaos is going to be important for crafting my Righteous Fire Helms at some point. Chaos is going to be constantly being spammed with Kirak missions slash potential gear. Uh, another set of Alks. My Essence of Horror, I have three of them because this is assuming you have Essence of Horror, basically the four essences, right? The four essences plus your remnant of corruption. The only thing I'm not taking into account is that I'll probably have another like six inventory slots reserved for essences for just regular crafting. The other thing about essence is anything that's below the tier of... I think anything that's not at least screaming, you literally don't pick up because if it's not at least screaming, it basically needs a scour orb. Let me see if this is correct. So say I take... Target is not normal. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that doesn't work. So you need at least screaming. Yeah, okay. So essence at least screaming. And I don't know how many. I mean, there's a shit ton of essence, but we'll get to essence another time. That's a doozy one. Right. Um, don't worry about what you just saw there. Okay. So. I then have the Eldritch uh, Ickers, which are going to be instantly spammed like immediately on our gear. I may hold some of these ones because these are the fire exposure until I get good gloves. I've got the three life force pods. Thankfully, these stack up to 50,000. Another stack of chaos, a stack of Kirak influence scouting reports uh, or scouting reports, which we'll probably use on the fly. Some alterations, some other regals, which go over there. A random cluster jewel that I may be having to, uh, to craft about two rows of inventory for your maps and this is when it gets a little interesting so uh considering the fact that we're going to be running stream of consciousness on our atlas because we will not be picking up 17 different types of scarabs and clogging our inventory we're going to be running with permanent stream of consciousness because of this we can actually use extra slots in our map device to hold scarabs so for me it's probably going to be elder scarabs for an elder helm until we don't want to run stream of consciousness anymore at which case we simply remove it remember that because we are going to be using harvest in a very unique manner we can actually viably technically spec into harvest and then use harvest on literally like any essence we get to potentially flip it to something else, this is not just used for the, the, the specific four, right? Because otherwise I'm not gonna use it. It has no value for me, I can't stash it. The other thing is the same thing with scarabs. You could technically reroll any scarab you want into any other scarab, utilizing life force immediately, right? Like right there on the spot. Um, so on top of that, Exile. you can also store one item inside Jun, but it has to be able to be unveiled. I don't know if this is going to be good or not, but we can actually craft from Jun's inventory. Um, another option is Lily Roth. Lily Roth, not only can she hold div cards, she can also hold equipment, and you can craft the equipment in her inventory to save inventory space. Crafting bench is independent from both of the two I just showed. You can do the exact same thing. You can craft from your crafting bench, as one would imagine, right? I actually didn't know that. Horticulture is different from all three of, or all three of them, yeah, as well. Horticulture has its own uh, inventory, yet you can also craft from while using the life force. Sister Cassia can actually hold any type of equipment in the game that you put in here. However, if you give her an accessory, she can hold up to three oils. There is one more that's a little weird, but it does work. The blood ritual in the menagerie also counts as a permanent inventory 
that no matter what you do will never reset. So taking all of this into account, I do think it would be possible to do a no stash run utilizing these miniature extra inventory spaces for things like future equipment, rare, unique, double corrupt option, you know, just whatever it is, right? Say I find my Elder Helm, I can put my Elder Helm in one of these things until I'm ready to craft it. So I'm really curious. Um, and again, this may only last for a few days. It may only last one stream. It may go for two weeks, right? It's all just speculation. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it uh, on YouTube. Obviously, I'll be like live streaming this live on Twitch. Uh, and then the last thing to ask is, what do you guys think when it comes to the trading? Uh, I would like to know your guys' thoughts on uh, potentially trading. Where did it just go? Here it is. Here we go. Um, whether or not the event should be SSF only, because I feel if it's SSF only, it's going to be too difficult for other players to kind of have fun, right? Whereas if we do regular, you, I think you can still trade. It doesn't say you cannot trade. You just cannot use a stash. And I feel like it won't really break anything that bad, right? I think it'll be okay. I mean, worst case scenario, you just make a new private league. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, so yeah, the I guess I completely forgot about the whole entire pitch. Um, right, we're 11 minutes into the video. So the whole pitch of this is it's going to be called the Road to Legacy. Sorry, I just woke up. And the goal is for me to go all the way to Maven and get my Legacy of Fury boots. Uh, I probably should have opened with that, but, you know, I'm half asleep. So anyway, I'm going to pretty much catch you guys all later. I hope you guys enjoyed the idea of a video. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, another reason why I'm doing this is, ironically, I really want to play D2 Resurrected, but I can't stand the inventory space. So I figured if I made my inventory look like I have a bunch of fake charms, and this is the spot where my Haradra cube would be, then it's kind of like I'm playing a, a weird version of D2R, right? So anyway, again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to go back to bed, so see you guys all later. Don't forget, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all tomorrow.